Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Team Losi Racing, and recently uh, we just released the TLR Gen 3 radio tray, part number is TLR4401. Um, I've had a number of questions just asking about how I route my wires or where the personal transponder goes, so we're going to go over that right now. Uh, the basic radio tray um, has a very clean layout. Um, essentially, we move the throttle servo to the front rotated the steering servo and we also moved the battery forward slightly. Uh, now with the radio tray, previous radio trays we've always had an actual transponder mount but the majority of our drivers always end up putting the transponder in your receiver box. So I'm going to show you kind of how I route my wires and where my personal transponder is located. As you can see here, it's it's kind of a tight fit, um, especially with with how long the wires are that that I have on my servos. But I use the Spectrum 3520 receiver. Um, then my personal transponder, actually in this vehicle, it's it's one of the older, larger transponders. But I just cut the tabs off, and it fits nicely right alongside uh, the receiver there. Everything is pretty tight and secure. That way, you don't have to worry about any vibration or or things you know, bouncing or banging into one another. And then here I have just a loose tray, but the wires come out of this back side of the servo, and I've had a few people ask, do they run the wires under the servo? I actually just wrap them tightly around this post here. That way it can't get pinched underneath. So the wires just go right around this post and then into the slot that we have cut for that. Um, the other thing that, that I have questions about every now and then is the angle of the linkage. Now, here I have my car set up with uh, engine and everything in it. And you'll notice on the radio tray, there's actually an indication line on the tray and then also on the horn. So the throttle horn will actually be at a slight angle, but you just want to make sure that these this indication line on the horn and the tray line up. And then we also have the same thing here in the front. There's an indication line on the tray and then another one on the horn. So you want to make sure that the horn lines up with indication markings or line here on the tray and then also back here. Now what that'll do is it starts this at a slight angle but when you go to full throttle it will pull the carburetor really really straight where if you start with the horn straight it starts to wrap or bend around and then you may also run into a problem with having to pull the carburetor so far that the ball cup will actually rub on the linkage a little bit so starting with it at a slight angle when you pull the carb to full throttle uh, there's plenty of clearance and and that's pretty much how it works